Item number SCP-001 Object Class Euclid Keter Special Containment Procedures Because of the nature of SCP-001, no containment procedures are necessary. 24-7 monitoring of SCP-001 is to take place from a safe, 10 km plus distance from a predetermined location, Site-0. The location of Site-0 is known only to the current SCP Administrator and the single Overseer-level agent of Abrahamic Faith, O514, assigned to monitor SCP-001 from Site-0. Said agent is authorized to take any action necessary should SCP-001 become active, and is required to immediately alert the Administrator and all other Overseer-level agents should SCP-001 show any change in behavior as this may constitute the beginning of a Patmos XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Should SCP-001 become active in any way, personnel are required to immediately consult the Patmos series of emergency orders. Decoding algorithms for emergency order Patmos are to be maintained on-site at Site-0 in the possession of the designated observer, and are to be transmitted to SCP Foundation offices only in the event of SCP-001 becoming active. Personnel with vital roles in one or more variants of Emergency Procedure Patmos are to be advised to take the following precautions. To maintain good relations with one or more organized Abrahamic faiths. To maintain on hand a supply of the following, holy water, a rosary, crucifix, cross, prayer rug, or other symbol blessed by Abrahamic cleric of bishop or equivalent higher rank, a copy of Abrahamic scriptures, Torah, Bible, Koran, and standard emergency supplies in mobile form, bug out bag. In case of a premillennial rapture scenario, all vital personnel are to designate a secondary operative of non Abrahamic faith. Said secondary operative is to be informed of the location of the primary designate's copy of emergency procedure Patmos and mimetic kill agent inoculant, and is to be kept on ready status to take over the primary's duties as necessary. To maintain familiarity with all other SCPs involved in possible Patmos XK class end of the world scenarios. Description SCP 001 is a humanoid entity, approximately 700 cubits in height, located in an indisclosed location near the intersection of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The following features are known about the entity a number of luminous, wing like appendages emerging from the shoulders, back, temples, ankles, and wrists of the entity. Although an accurate count has never been established, most observers place the number of wings at anywhere from 2 through 108, with the mean number being 4. A weapon, possibly a sword or knife, SCP-001-2. The weapon appears to emit flames at a temperature rivaling that of the sun, based on spectrographic analysis, although there appears to be no destructive effects from the intense heat on the surrounding area. Any entity that approaches within one kilometer of SCP-001 is immediately struck by the weapon and obliterated from existence. Any and all hostile actions taken towards SCP-001 have resulted in the annihilation of the attacker, regardless of range. See Incident Report. Reference: Indian Ocean Submarine Missile Experiment, December 26, 2004. SCP-001 appears to be standing with its head bowed in a gesture of supplication with SCP-001-2 held in both hands pointed down in front of it. Since originally recorded by the Founder over years ago, SCP-001 has not deviated from this stance. Human beings exposed to SCP-001 report hearing a voice in their heads, giving them a directive which the subject reports cannot be disobeyed. The most common directive is, forget which results in the subject walking away from SCP-001 with no memory of having encountered it. On rare occasions, however, other directives have been given. The most famous of these is the one given to the Founder, Prepare, which he has claimed formed the impetus for founding to catalog and contain any and all supernatural and or paranormal artifacts that represent a serious threat to the current existence of humanity. This is the organization now known as the SCP Foundation. Observers having reported that SCP-001 appears to be standing in front of a gate of immense proportions. Long-range photographs have occasionally detected what appears to be a pastoral grove within, containing numerous other entities of the same composition as SCP-001, as well as several fruit trees of unknown composition. 
Of particular note are two fruit trees of immense proportion near what appears to be the center of the grove. One, it is noted, appears to be an ordinary apple tree, although the other bears a fruit unknown on Earth, described as… It is the avowed belief of the Founder that the gate which SCP-001 guards may be the gate to based on correlations with ancient Babylonian text and the Dead Sea Scrolls, in which case one can deduce that the entity known as SCP-001 may be Addendum 001-A Experimentation Reference SCP-001-2's Effective Kill Range Experiment A One Class D personnel instructed to approach SCP-001 as closely as possible on foot. Result. Upon making visual contact with SCP-001, subject is ordered to leave. Subject immediately turns away from entity and walks away. Despite repeated orders to continue the experiment, Class D personnel refuses to obey and is terminated. Upon termination of Class D personnel, all research staff involved are immediately obliterated by an unknown force, presumably SCP-001-2. Experiment B one remote-operated research robot guided to approach SCP-001 from the ground. Result, upon approaching within one kilometer of SCP-001, research bot is obliterated, presumably by SCP-001-2. All further attempts at remote reconnaissance have the same result. Experiment C. 100 pre-programmed research drones instructed to approach SCP-001 from multiple angles simultaneously. Result, coordination is successful, and all 100 drones cross the 1 km mark simultaneously. However, all 100 are simultaneously obliterated by SCP-001-2. Designated observer at Site-0 reports that SCP-001-2 appeared to strike in all directions at once. SCP-001 did not deviate from its stance while this took place. Experiment D. Wire-guided missile fired from a distance of 3 km. Result, SCP-001-2 obliterates weapon upon crossing the 1 km mark, simultaneously obliterating the launch site and killing all personnel. Experiment E. Multi-warhead intercontinental ballistic missile fired from SCP nuclear submarine Nautilus. Result, see Indian Ocean Submarine Missile Experiment, December 26, 2004. Experiment F. SCP-076 and Task Force Omega-7 instructed to approach SCP-001 on foot. Result, SCP-076 refuses to carry out mission, despite not being informed of the mission's nature. Upon being asked why, SCP-076 replies, No, just no. Experiment G. SCP-073 Due to the results of Experiment F, SCP-073 was not informed of his destination until arriving at Site-0. Result. SCP-073 approached the site on foot. Upon seeing SCP-001, SCP-073 became distressed and asked to abort. SCP-073 was ordered to continue. At that point, the symbol on SCP-073's forehead became Experiment was terminated due to See Addendum 001-AA Addendum 001-AA by executive order of the Administrator, no further experiments are to be carried out. Reference SCP-001. No further SCPs are to be exposed to SCP-001. SCP-001 is not to be used to dispose of dangerous SCPs. Please see Revised Containment Procedure for details. Addendum On The following errant transmission was received by Foundation personnel. Initiate Emergency Procedure Patmos Omega. Attention, all Foundation personnel. The following message was received at approximately this morning from Site-0. SCP-001 has left its location. The gate is open. They are riding forth. Oh God, it's so beautiful. The Lord reigned. The Lord reigned. The Lord has reigned. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord reigned. The Lord has reigned. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord reigned. The Lord has reigned. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord is God. 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 Hero Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. Because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, and the activation of SCP-098. 
the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to unlock and decode Emergency Order Patmos Omega and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured, and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and or destroyed. Repeat, because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, and the activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to unlock and decode Emergency Order Patmos Omega and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured, and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and or destroyed. Repeat. Because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, and the activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. Kane and Abel, my two sons, I am coming. All personnel are to unlock and decode. Behold, I stand at the gate and knock, and if follow, signal lost. Upon contacting Site-0, O514 responded that no such message had been sent from his location and that SCP-001 remained inert. The transmission was initially determined to be a hoax, however, close examination of the transmission revealed the timestamp dated years in the future. It is theorized that